Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Walt B, and I'm here with another video just to help us to connect a little bit more on the Walt B Connection. Get your drink together because we are getting ready to talk about it. Whether it be soda, Kool-Aid, or wine, get your drinks all the way together. Because this is your boy, Walt B, and we're here with the Walt B Connection, bringing you the best in today's interviews and insightful videos. Now, what I need you to do is go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to this channel, and go ahead and leave a comment. We'll take care of the rest. Now, many of you know my story. I was married for about the space of 15 years. I have a child. Um, I am no longer married. I'm no longer with my wife. And um, my child is 13 years old. Wow, I'm getting old. Now, to this, I had some ups and some downs. Some I made some mistakes, you know. Um, but I've also been a good parent in certain ways. And um, my ex-wife and I, we've had some rough patches. And we've had good patches since we've broken up. Um, I wanted to make this video because sometimes it's really difficult to have these conversations with your kids about your sexuality. Especially if all your child knows is one thing about you. Um, and you have moved into another space, you have evolved into another space, be it you may have always known it about yourself, be it, you know, um, you found out as you, you know, live life that, you know, you found yourself in a queer space and an LGBTQ space, um, you know, however you found yourself here. You know, um, you need to communicate this with your kid. So that's one thing you have to understand. You've got to inform your kid so that they are not caught unaware. You know, people do a lot of trashy things. Here's an example. In my case, um, my ex and I decided that we were not going to tell our child um, because she felt like my child was not ready. However, the week we came to that agreement, a relative decided to have the conversation with my daughter for me, okay? And when my daughter realized what they were telling her, um, I put the screenshot, my daughter shot me an email. Now, because we did not live, um, <laughs> we did not live together, um, she couldn't just walk in my room and be like, hey, daddy, so-and-so just told me blah, 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 blah. But she shot me an email. She sent me an email. She said, you know what, daddy, I support you. She also let me know. She said, I've been thinking something along this line anyway, but I just want you to know I love you. I support you. This change is nothing. You're still my hero. Blage, blage, blage. Okay, so um, fast forward, we still had to have the conversation. Bum, bum, bum. And it was kind of uncomfortable because uh, for most of my daughter's life, I was a pastor. You know, and I had closed the door shortly, you know, before she, the, the relative decided to have this conversation with my daughter. And so obviously being Christians, we taught um, a certain doctrine. Well, I'm going to say up until a certain point, we taught a certain doctrine. And then because I could no longer perpetuate that and be genuinely who I am. Um, I silenced myself on that topic and my ex-wife taught um, her on that topic. I taught from a more accepting, a more loving, um, a more, you know, mind your business. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You just make sure you're doing what you need to be doing perspective. Um, and so I kind of laid groundwork with my daughter um, because one thing, I grew up in a very religious 
um, environment. So I was good with a good religious environment. If you were wrong, child, if, if you if you were wrong, child, you were wrong. They excommunicated you. They talked about you. They gossiped about you. They not only gossiped about you with words, they gossiped about you in prayer. You know, um, during the prayer meeting, they would be spewing different things and rebuking different things. But in the rebuking and spewing of different things, it was low key allowing the tea to spill and informing those of us that were around. So um, I found this uh, 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 time where she and I were talking and um, she said, I'm ready to have, she came to me and she said, I'm ready to have this conversation with you, daddy. I want you to know, I wanna know, do you feel awkward about this? I said, no, baby, I don't feel awkward. She said, how long have you known? Um, she basically talked to me about the whole situation, okay? Um, so uh, she and I had this whole conversation. I was open, I was honest with her um, about what I could be because honestly, you know, I am still an adult, she is still a child. So, you know, we didn't go into deep, deep detail. Um, and she wasn't asking intrusive questions. She just wanted to um, know, you know, well, how did you and my mom happen? And I was able to explain to her that I was indeed in love with her mom. But, you know, as time grew, as time went on, we kind of just grew apart. And I grew into who I am today. And her mother grew into who she is now. Um, still have love for her mom. You know, I'm still in support of her mother. Um, we just, I just can't be with her in the way that I used to. Um, and then I just explained to her um, where I'm at and um, what she could possibly expect in the future from me. She let me know she was okay with that. And so I just wanted to kind of give you a few bullet points. Number one, okay, you have to lay groundwork for understanding and grace. If they don't see you be understanding and graceful towards other people, you are teaching them that dogmatic behavior and you will reap what you sow. I want you to understand there's no 100% um, case that they're going to accept you and embrace you, okay? But you increase the chances when you begin to teach grace and love um, and acceptance to your children, okay? Um, and then number two, okay? Um, you got to have an open door policy. Don't judge them because you don't want them to judge you, okay? This does not mean you cannot parent your child. Yes, you still have to tell your child no. Yes, you still have to you know, you have to be that authoritative figure, that authority, you know, authority figure in their life. However, you know, in times and in moments where that's not the case, they still need you to accept, embrace, and love their humanity, okay? As they grow through life, as you are also growing through life. So, also, um, now, because of the way this happened, I wasn't able to have the conversation with my child and my ex, which I think would have made a very big difference because then when I'm explaining to her where I am, her mother could have also explained um, to her where she is. We could have came to an understanding um, with one another and then expressed this to her child and her child could have saw that there was no like beef between her mother did have some serious questions which she definitely you know she has that right to maybe i'll do a video on how to come out to your ex you know um or, you know that's a whole nother video but as it relates to your child um and then afterwards this is going to be my third point afterwards you got to keep the communication with your child open they need to know that this is the only thing that has changed about you. You are still the loving, the same loving, the same, you know, dependable, the same uh, structured, the things that they love about you and the things that they need from you. So sometimes they may not love it, but they need it from you. They need to know that that is still there. It still exists in you and they can still get that from you. Okay, um, so again, this is Walter, the Walt B Connection. I just wanted to do this video, maybe to help us connect a little bit more beyond our differences. Um, also, 
if I may add, maybe explain that just because you are LGBTQ plus does not mean that they are LGBTQ plus, but it's okay if they are. But it doesn't mean that, you know, it's not hereditary. It's not something that, you know, that, and it doesn't mean that something is wrong. It just simply means that this is how, you know, the cards were dealt. Um, so maybe this is something that will help us connect a little bit more, help you connect with your children. I really hope this helped. Um, this is something that just dropped in my heart and my spirit to share with you all. So I did it. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel uh, for more videos such as this that will be coming in the future. Thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing rest of your day.